my photo is going to be about exercise. Exercise is something that I really need to start fitting into my days more often. Here I'm going to set up two flashes on either side of the room. I will be using the flashes because I know I want to freeze fast movement. I'm going to be jumping in the air and I will not be able to have a high enough shutter speed to freeze action without using flash. To double check my lighting, I am going to do several test shots before I start setting up the room for the final photo. I have put a barn door modifier on the flash that is camera left, and the other I have fitted with a snoot. I don't want a lot of light spilling into the background, and these modifiers will give me more directional light. While I was doing some test runs, my uh, remote stopped working. Nothing happening, so I'll have to get another one of those. I changed the batteries and still nothing. And uh, But luckily the uh, phone works as a remote as well, so unfortunately still no watching me do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the test results have been pretty interesting. Uh, I think that this is going to look really good. I am going to do some kind of light on the hearth I'm just not quite sure if I want to light the candles or just go get a go get some string lights maybe for the camera. I have put it on a stool in a dictionary. In my test photos, I've been looking pretty good. Uh, I like that one a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm done. I think I can call it a successful picture day. Uh, I, I even had to fiddle with this, not wanting to connect. Suddenly I had to work with it for a good five minutes or so before I got it to, I basically forced it to connect somehow. And so it did its thing, which uh, thank goodness. Um, but it is definitely not as preferable to a remote but I, I think the pictures turned out good. I'm excited to see them. But the, the candles turned out gorgeous. I love them. Had a late breakfast today with mom. We went to Cracker Barrel and where I had some nice pancakes and I'm hoping that those are going to be my photo of the day. And I also got a teapot. It's on sale for $10. So how could I pass up a cute little teapot like that? The pancake picture I took, I'm hoping to combine two pictures to make it look like I have each hand occupied with a utensil and have the camera just as if it were what I'm looking at. But for now, I am going to enjoy some tea. This was the photo I ended up with. I just didn't like it very much. I let it sit for a few days, but it still kept bothering me. While I thought the photo was a nice idea, the background was just very busy and I was in a rush to take it and I just ended up not getting a look that I liked very much. So I decided to make a new pancake photo to go in its place.
I'm going to start this day with some exercise. And I don't mean the vacuum, but I do like to exercise in a clean spot, so I usually prepare the space first. I am trying to make a quick morning exercise, a new habit of mine. I like to do it before I get started with anything else. This year I've been really interested in doing yoga. Getting back into physical activity after a year or more, I didn't want to do something very strenuous, and yoga seems to be the perfect balance for me. Once I finish my exercise routine, it is time for my favorite meal of the day. Of course, I have wanted to include my cats in my daily photo project, but as cats go, they usually pick the darkest, most unphotogenic corner of the house to be cute in, or the most inopportune moment. While I was wondering what to photograph today, I happened to notice that my white calico winter was feeling very playful, so I thought I would take advantage of that energy and get a photo of her. I tried to get her to look at the camera with a toy, and I used Animal Eye Autofocus, a fast shutter speed and fast frame rate, to try and get a single keeper photo. It is a very windy, rainy day today. It is the kind of day I just want to wrap up in a blanket with a cup of tea. And that is where I am getting the inspiration for today's photo. I should have just declared January 31 days of tea, because that is what the cold weather months are about for me. I also got my remote replacement, and that will make taking these photos a lot easier. Before I lose any more light, it is time to start setting the scene.
Clearly the reason I want to do these photos is so I can make tea and then drink it. The new remote works really well. That would have been pretty difficult to do with the phone using it as a remote as I took several photos in very quick succession. I just check photos on the camera and I think my photo of the day is looking really good. I'm going to finish my day with some yoga since I didn't have time for it this morning. To my great surprise and delight, I have sold all of my Sony A-mount equipment. I tried to sell it locally for a few months and I wasn't having any success, so I thought that I would reach out to the global market and use eBay. I listed it as a collection to be sold together and it sold overnight to someone in Germany. So I am packing that up today and I hope that person enjoys his new equipment. With the errands done for the day, I am going to make some breakfast for supper. I don't have video of my photo today since I had to use my phone to take the picture, but I chose to take a picture of my now one and only camera, my Sony a7R4. Today I took a food photo and I wasn't happy with it at all. It didn't tell the story about the day. This morning I had a small photo job doing some staff photos. The photos needed to have a clean white background for the company's website. So I spent the rest of my day editing and touching up those pictures. I wanted to represent that by taking a photo of myself working and I thought just my hands at the keyboard would be an interesting point of view. I set up my tripod and then kneeled down in front of it, being careful to keep my head just out of the picture. The biggest challenge here was me finally being happy with the position of my hands and fingers. I took this photo over and over, many more times than I included in the video. I have been so excited for this day. Today, my first HelloFresh box came. I had been wanting to try a meal delivery kit for a few years now. Since this year, I am really trying to do better for myself. I thought it would be a great time to try it out. I ordered the veggie meal kits, and the first one I am trying is butternut squash risotto. Towards the end of the preparation, the instructions called for sprinkling Parmesan cheese onto the dish. Since I love action in my food photos, I thought the falling cheese would make a great opportunity for a picture.
food turned out so fabulous. And now from Josie, Ruby, Winter, Autumn, and I, thank you for joining us this week. Thank you.